Study of Language, Chapter 19, Language and Social Variation. Language variation exists not only across geographical areas, but also within a single region, depending on social factors such as education, economic status, and group membership. People from different social backgrounds in the same region may speak differently, and these differences can be used to identify individuals as part of specific social groups or speech communities. A speech community is a group of people who share common language norms and expectations, and the study of how language use reflects social identity and membership is known as sociolinguistics. Sociolinguistics Sociolinguistics is the study of the relationship between language and society. This is an interdisciplinary field that combines linguistics with anthropology, sociology, and social psychology. Sociolinguistics examines how language interacts with culture, social groups, institutions, attitudes, and perceptions, and how it shapes and reflects social identity, behavior, and relationships. By drawing on these various disciplines, sociolinguistics provides a comprehensive understanding of the complex connections between language and society. Social dialects Social dialect is a variety of a language with features that differ according to the social status, for example, middle class or working class off speaker. The study of social dialects focuses on the language use of speakers in urban areas, particularly in relation to social class. Social lasses can be further subdivided into upper and lower categories. Researchers identify specific language features, like pronunciations, words, or structures, that are used differently by speakers from different social classes. Researchers can identify systematic patterns of language use that are associated with specific social groups. Education and Occupation Our way of speaking idiolect is influenced by our educational background and occupation, which are linked to our socio-economic status. Research by William Labov and Peter Trudgill shows that certain linguistic features such as the pronunciation of post-vocalic ra the r sound after a vowel vary depending on social class. In New York City, the higher the socioeconomic status, the more frequent the pronunciation of r, while in reading England, the opposite is true, with working class speakers pronouncing r more frequently. These studies demonstrate how language use reflects social stratification and how the same linguistic variable can have different social values in different contexts. Social markers Social marker is a linguistic feature that marks the speaker as a member of a particular social group, like post-vocalic ra sound. The use of certain features, like the pronunciation of r or the dropping of h, can indicate lower class and less education, while others may mark higher social status. Examples include the pronunciation of ing with na instead of ing for example, sitin instead of sitting, and h dropping for example, I'm so ungry instead of I'm so hungry. These features have been used by authors like Charles Dickens to indicate a character's social background, and they continue to be associated with social class and education level in contemporary English. Speech style and style shifting Speech style is a way of speaking that is, either formal or careful or informal or casual. Labov's department store study examined both social stratification and speech style as social features of language use. 
He found that speakers' use of post-vocalic R increased when they were asked to repeat a phrase in a more careful style, with middle-class speakers showing the greatest increase in frequency. Additionally, Labov used various elicitation procedures for example, reading a text or list of words to manipulate speakers' attention to speech, and found that Speakers' use of post-vocalic are increased as they paid more attention to their speech, lower middle-class speakers overuse the prestige form post-vocalic R in formal situations, exceeding even upper middle-class speakers' usage. Middle-class speakers tend to shift their speech style significantly towards the upper-middle-class style when using a careful style. These findings demonstrate how speech style and social class intersect, with speakers adapting their language used to context and social status. Prestige Prestige refers to the social value assigned to a particular language, dialect, or speech style, often based on the social status of its speakers. Prestige can be either overt and covert. Overt prestige refers to the widely recognized and valued speech patterns of higher social classes. Covert prestige refers to the positive value placed on speech styles within a particular social group even if they are not widely recognized as prestigious. This covert prestige can lead to a sense of group solidarity and a reluctance to change one's speech style to conform to a higher social class, as seen in lower working class speakers who maintain their casual speech style. Interestingly, Younger middle-class speakers may also assign covert prestige to features associated with lower status groups, adopting them as a way to establish their own identity and solidarity within their peer group. Speech accommodation Speech accommodation is a modifying speech style toward convergence or away from divergence the perceived style of that person being talked to. Speakers can modify their style to converge with, become more similar to or diverge from become more different from the listener's style. Convergence aims to reduce social distance, while divergence emphasizes it. Examples illustrate this. A teenager uses informal language with a friend, gives a look, but formal language with the friend's mother, could I have a look? A Scottish teenager initially uses standard English with a teacher, but shifts to a distinctly different Scottish dialect, Kenny Day, to emphasize their difference and reject the teachers, were the same claim. Speech accommodation shows how speakers adapt their language to social context and relationships. Register and jargon Register is a conventional way of using language that is appropriate in a specific situation, occupation, or topic, characterized by the use of special jargon. Speech style is influenced by registers, which have distinct features, including jargon, which is a specialized vocabulary associated with a particular field or interest. Jargon serves to create a sense of community among insiders and exclude outsiders. Examples of registers and their jargon include religious register, ye shall be blessed, legal register, plaintiff, witness stand, linguistics register, morphology, inflectional suffixes, medical register, xenoxin, nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drug. The use of jargon can lead to accusations of jargonitis or the excessive use of technical language that may be difficult for outsiders to understand. Slang Slang are words or phrases used instead of more conventional forms by those who are typically outside established higher status groups, for example, bucks for dollars. Jargon is used by established groups. While slang is used by those outside of these groups, particularly younger speakers and special interest groups. While slang is a way for groups to establish identity and distinguish themselves from others, but it is subject to change and can become outdated quickly. 
Examples of slang expressions that have been replaced over time include groovy to awesome to dope and hunk to hottie. The use of slang also varies within age groups, with younger speakers using more taboo terms and obscenities, and social class divisions are already apparent in adolescence, with higher status groups using taboo words less frequently. African American English African American English A is a distinct social dialect used by many African Americans in the USA. AAAE has characteristic features that serve as social markers, shaped by historical social barriers like discrimination and segregation. Despite being stigmatized as bad language by dominant groups, it has covert prestige among younger speakers, particularly in popular music, and its features are often used by non-African Americans to express social identity. This highlights the complex dynamics of language, power, and social identity, where dominated groups' language practices are often devalued, yet still influential and valued by others. Vernacular language Vernacular refers to a non-standard, spoken language variety used by lower status groups, contrasting with the standard language. Ave, as a vernacular language, shares features with other non-standard varieties, such as Chicano English and Asian American English. These varieties are characterized by distinct pronunciation features and are often associated with lower status groups. The use of vernacular highlights the social dynamics of language, where certain varieties are valued over others, and the standard language is often associated with higher status. The sounds of a vernacular Some phonological and morphological features of African-American vernacular, English Ave, and other English vernaculars, these features include Reducing final consonant clusters for example of hand becomes left hun. Changing initial dental consonants to alveolar stops for example, think becomes tink, that becomes dat. Dropping possessive and third-person singular suffixes for example, John's girlfriend becomes John girlfriend. She loves him becomes she love him. Living plural markers when the phrase already indicates plurality, for example, two guy instead of two guys, one of my friend instead of one of my friends. These features are characteristic of Ave and other non-standard English varieties, and they differ from the standard English language. The grammar of a vernacular the grammatical features of African-American vernacular English Ave that are often stigmatized as illogical or sloppy, it argues that these features, such as double negative constructions for example, he don't know nothing, absence of forms of the verb to be, for example, you crazy, use of be to express habitual action, for example, she be working downtown now. Use of been to express past habitual action. For example, she been working there. These features are not inherently illogical or sloppy, but rather consistent features of Ave grammar. These features are also found in other languages and dialects, such as French, Old English, Arabic, and Russian. Social dialects are not just distinguished by language but also by cultural factors such as beliefs, assumptions, and experiences. Chapter completed. Link to the study questions of this chapter is given in the description of this video. See you in the next lecture. Goodbye.